Everyone loves the bat cart, but very few are willing to pay the $15,000 price tag. So in this video, I'll teach you the cheapest and easiest way to build your own go-kart that I promise will drift even better than the bat cart. I'm starting with the cheapest electric go-kart on the market because how could I resist? Look how much fun this kid's having. It's the standard size crazy cart on Amazon for $379 and here's how it's assembled. Done. This is a Razor product with a genius design. There's a throttle on the right, no brakes. It's driven by one wheel in the front, connected directly to the steering wheel. There are two caster wheels in the rear like a ripstick, and when you pull the drift bar, the cart effortlessly drifts. Just don't expect much ground clearance. For a cart that only goes 12 miles per hour, it is so fun right out of the box. Easily the most entertaining EV for the price and power. You don't even need to leave the house. A couple obstacles in the garage and you've got a drift course. The crazy cart also takes up nearly no floor space between rides. As fun as it is stock, let's upgrade the f out of it. I'm taking care of my girlfriend's cat and I recently got covered in poison ivy so please ignore the state of my skin. With that out of the way here's everything I got to upgrade the cart. First off is a brake kit. Custom designed for the crazy cart. It comes with a custom hub with the rotor installed. $550. Oh yeah and everything you see here is from Taxi Garage. I got the hardware kit. $84. Two upgraded caster wheels. $260. Super important. And three park tools for the caster wheels and headset. $40 total. I got both upgraded tire options, the CST and the Nobby, $20 each, and they come with the inner tubes. Oh, and I forgot to turn the light on. That's better. This is the most powerful Taxi Garage battery. It's 48 volts, custom fit for the crazy cart, and it comes with the charger. It's part of Taxi Garage's most powerful kit, the 1100 watt motor upgrade kit that gets you this beautiful powder coated fork with the upgraded motor already installed. It comes with the controller, harness, and controller mount, as well as an upgraded chain, chain tensioner, and a badass upgraded sprocket. This whole kit from the battery to the fork to the motor to the controller costs $1,249. Pause here for a list of everything I ordered. In total, between the upgrades and the cart itself, this build costs $2,602. Step one, you gotta clear your work surface. Remove the plastics and the batteries. Next, the controller, couple plugs, and de-pin the motor connector. This allows us to feed the wire out so that we can take the fork off. To do that, we're gonna remove the steering wheel and use this park tool to remove the headset. Just be careful not to let it drop like I did. Now we can install our controller bracket and the controller with four screws, two on each side. For our throttle, we're gonna convert this five pin connector into a three pin connector. First, by removing all the color wires, and cutting off the yellow and green, leaving us with the black, white, and red. Then using the included kit, we're going to turn this into a three pin connector and plug that right into the controller. We're gonna to connect to the stock power on off switch. It doesn't even matter which one you connect to. It just completes the circuit. And now we can start working on the fork. First by removing the wheel, the sprocket, and emptying the air. It's kind of crazy to think that the air coming out of this tube is probably Chinese air. And now we can throw on our upgraded CST tire using the upgraded hub that has the brake rotor on it. We do have to drill into the other side of the hub. It doesn't matter if you lose a finger, we got 10 of them anyway. The brake side goes in, spacer, the side we drilled, and I'm putting the axle through to keep it all aligned while I tighten it up. And they do a little bit at a time so it's an even spread. Now we can install our upgraded sprocket and pump it up to 60 PSI. Look at this upgraded wheel. The rotor, the tire, the sprocket, everything's upgraded. Now we're gonna work on the stem. First, we're installing the chain tensioner in the third hole down, making sure it's not too tight. And we can install our upgraded chain, which next to the stock chain, you can see is a huge upgrade. The wheel goes in, two spacers, washers, and the bolt goes right through. We're gonna tighten it evenly from both sides and put the chain on. Make sure everything looks good before we throw the bottom bearing on balls up and install the fork. We're gonna use our special tool to tighten the two nuts. We're actually gonna tighten the top nut and then loosen the bottom one a little bit so that we've got a sturdy but turnable fork. We're gonna feed the motor wires through the cart and make sure here that we have just the right amount of slack and then zip tie it where the wire is. You can see we can turn it all the way around. We've got just the right amount of slack. 
Using the included Anderson kit, we're turning these motor wires into a plug that snaps right into the controller. It's time to install the battery and plug that in and screw the battery right in. It fits perfect. Steering wheel goes back on nice and tight and we're flipping over to add one screw here at the bottom of the battery. We wanna make sure we're not drilling too deep, so I'm measuring it out and marking it with tape. We're drilling into the bottom of the battery and screwing this one included screw in so that the battery is held down. This is what ensures you get your warranty on the battery. Flipping it back over, and it's time to install the brakes. Very similar to a bike, we're gonna install the caliper and align it and remove the seat so that we can put the cable under it. So I'm drilling two holes right near the bottom where I cut it out so the seat can go on with the cable running under it. But now we have two handles, so I'm removing the stock one. Doing this also allows us to turn the angle of the lever just a little bit so it's more comfortable. And they include a plug for a nice clean finish. Pulling out our park tools, we're gonna remove the rear casters and install the upgraded casters. Look at the difference here. One on each side. Everything's really coming together now. All that's left is to pull out our upgraded hardware kit. You can get this in a whole range of colors. These really don't do much to the ones I'm putting on now. They just look really cool. It's the details that count. Go. we've upgraded the cheapest electric go-kart on the market there is a huge community for these so i'm driving four hours to san diego to meet up with some fellow carters yeah. and hit the streets very low odds this flag's making it to san diego and we lost it what's up dude, Hello, dude. wow with the seat yeah i wrapped it in uh sweet black sweet dude that looks so good it's so clean with the white I literally haven't even test rode it yet. It couldn't be more fresh. Have you tried a brake yet? I thought about grabbing it, but yeah, I got, I got brake shoes. What's up, man? Dude, what's up, my name's Matthew. I love your color too. Everyone's all built up. Hey, Isn't that I, sick? I they fucking make. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you got the 1100 like, like me, 48. Nice. I love that 1100, it's, it's, it moves. Oh. That's clean, man. Yeah, the detail is crazy how they have the bolt kit. I see he's got the white bolts on his. It looks so good. You got it too. Yeah, we can, we can go do some laps and while, we're, while we're waiting, it doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as you think we'll have enough battery for everything. I don't know how much range these get. It's about like two hours roughly on a full charge. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Literally my first time on this thing, dude. I didn't have any time to test it. I'm gonna follow you guys. Look at this. So we still have a couple more guys coming, but we're just warming up. <laughs> This thing is so much more powerful than before. Oh, just barely touch the throttle and I'm already going way faster than stock. Feels f***ing awesome. I love the handle. Test the brake real quick. Money. Oh! You good? Got it! <laughs> These are crazy. <laughs> I love that, like most of the go-karts I've built, almost nobody has them. But there's a huge c community around these. I have to just barely touch the throttle. It's so snappy. Hey! We got another rider, so he's on the XL. What a cool spot. Yeah! Oh, oh the brake comes in handy. Hell yeah, dude. Killing it on there. Oh! It's not as easy as it looks. It's, if I didn't have any practice on my last crazy cart, oh, <laughs> you good? <laughs> I'd be going over. Right when I said it, not the 360 cam. Camera good? No, it's all right though. Dude, this is so fun. I knew the camera wasn't gonna last. I mean, I don't know how long you had the brake on there for. This is my first ride on this whole setup. Oh. 100% dude, do not pull that shit. Like don't even touch it unless your wheel is straight. That's what I was thinking. Cause look, if your wheels turn and you click it, you see how I just got angle? So as I'm riding it, like I'll, I'll tap it to get a little bit of angle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> dude, this is so, this is 
so dangerous, dude. I almost just deleted my nuts. I went, my legs went right over the bar. Oh. You kind of have to always be drifting. If you go straight, it's almost harder to control. <laughs> I'm feeling such a noob. I am such a noob on this thing. He's just going backwards having a conversation. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was trying to do what you're doing. I was like, let me go backwards. All the security over there looking at us, no idea what to do. Such a good feeling. It really feels like you're drifting. Some might say it's cheating being on three wheels, but I disagree. Got more guys. What's up, man? What's up? Nice to meet you. Scotty. Scotty. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Other oh, taxi garage setups. Yeah. Look at this. I love your pedal. Yeah. You got the headlight. Come on. It looks amazing with the suede seat. You powder coated it all. Yeah. So how long have you been riding for? I just, this is my first ride on. Well, I, I built an XL a while ago. Okay. So I have a little bit of practice, but this is my first ride on the, on the standard. Now, not, not to sound silly and not, not to have no idea if you had any problems yet. If it's up to you. I'd probably pull those front pegs off it right now. Oh yeah, I hate the front pegs. Take them off right now. So you can tell the front pegs are, are not, you want them off right now. I got, I got tools. He's going, he's going to be going to Florida, so they're going to be like. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, you're the man. Thank you so much. Dude, you have no clearance on that. That's wild. Oh, <laughs> without the thing on it, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Hey, happy birthday! Great way to spend it. See the top speed. It just keeps going faster. No, 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 that's enough. It, if it went, oh, I got brakes. I forgot. If it goes any faster than that, I don't want it. That's way too much. Oh, oh. <laughs> Catch up to the tandem. Yo, they go so fast. This is way scarier than it looks. I, I just love that there's a community for it. Like any other go kart, it's rare. I need to work out my left hand more. I'm like death gripping the steering wheel. Look at them all riding together like that. There's four. That's so cool. I wish I could join. Let me try right here. I gotta watch my shoelaces. They're gonna get caught in this thing. You guys are fast. I'm like just not even drifting trying to keep up. If you know you're wiping out, do you do you tuck or do you go like this? Uh, I just let the car, if, if I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall, but I don't want to like how rock to get like, That's what I'm scared of. My knee or something like that. Yeah. I pinched it up and tried against a cement wall and bam. Yeah, so I just let the cart take it. So, okay, you kind of just stay in the cart, even if it's tipping? Okay, because I've been like this, and I, at the moment I do that, I'm like, I'm breaking an ankle. Okay. If I hit a little bump, full and my foot goes down, bro, that shit will fucking fall. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so you got a vesk under there. They've got bikes that wheelie themselves with the vesk. Like, it's so advanced. Yee, let's get it. You need the goggles. A lot of debris down here, I can see. Homie up ahead has got too much in his eyes. Hang in there, bro! Hang in there! Oh! Yeah, brake comes in handy. Yeah. You need some goggles, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I used to go to the car wash and we used to race them, and I had like multiple yeah, girls pull up. So, like, what is this shit? I ride it, and it's like, I hate to say it, but you're gonna fall. Like, <laughs> Butts. She got on it and she like straight hate shit. I felt so bad. She straight got up and I, yeah, I got her number. I was like, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dry off in the dirt for a second. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I should have worn gloves today. What's up with me forgetting gloves all the time? Here we go. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. 
Oh, okay, I didn't flip. Let's go. I didn't flip. Now I'm just like bracing for impact every time I flip out. I got to see you on this one. Oh, you fit. You fit. <laughs> you know what I thought it was? Those hoverboards. You know the hoverboards? Oh, yeah, yeah. By the attachment. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. I thought that's what that was. No, nah, those got nothing on these. Oh, you're good, you're good. Oh. <laughs> Smith. Oh, the flag's still in here. That's great. Oh my god, so much easier to load than the back cart. <laughs> yeah, it's ready to go, so you can plug in right here. Charge up. Bang. Oh, look at all these birds. I'm driving the truck, and every time I take a turn, I feel like I'm about to drift. It's like crazy switching back and forth like this. <laughs> We hit the street for the rest of the night. It was so fun, but way too dark to film. Now I know this isn't cheap. It's still a couple grand to build one of these, but boy, is it an amazing community. You can instantly make a whole group of friends and build this all on your own. And I just need an underglow. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end. As they do. Yeah, I'm on my